Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. That doesn't even look like a light. It looks like, you know those uh, crazy carpets? They're like thin sheets of plastic, and little. when you were little, you went down snow banks with them. It looks like that, just uh, screwed to the ceiling. What... Uh, can we have some cookies? My cookies? Victoria stole my cookies. Now I can't take them back because she'll know I did it. Victoria's a cookie monster. A cookie monster? Well, what? I didn't even know we had cookies. Jeez. Bag. What are we gonna find? The unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Okay, nothing important is going on with my phone. Noir and day. Wait, what are we... Well-researched essay with a unique point of view. Is that all it says? Pretty much. Back. Really, that's all that's inside that gigantic... Or not gigantic, but... Looks pretty stuffed. Mmm... <laughs> Let's look what's in the drawer. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Oh. <laughs> so that's what Satan looks like. Satan is a girl. Uh, wait, what's... Picture, I see picture... Look. Victoria must have her own power if she found time to steal this from my room. <laughs> Good job. Nothing. I'll look at the desk later. What's in the trash? That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Thirty dollars? It's not that much. If it were say a hundred, then I'd be a little more surprised. Victoria's secret. She's a geek. Okay. okay. Well, now we know that. Can't. Oh, it was like I just seen can, but it says garbage can, I think, or trash can. What did she well, uh, look at? Maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. Hey, sweet tea. What up? I'm just. Oh, why am I tired? I'm just avoiding some lame-ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after seeing somebody jump off, jump to their death? Uh, I can't believe we all saw it happen live. It was like watching a reality show, and I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like everybody's hiding or crying. I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate and that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. I'm sorry to... Oh, that was Victoria too, Taylor. I'm sorry to Victoria. I can't stop seeing Kate fall. I need a drink stat. Let me know the time. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. That Tweemo bitch Max Cockfield. <laughs> Wait, is that her actual name? No, it's Cox. Call Field, I think it is. <laughs> Cockfield. Got me fucking suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns a fucking dorm where she plays with her selfies. My parents have lost their shit and are threatening me with a fucking job in my dad's office. How dumb is he to have me repping him? Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go fucking down. And the end of the world party is fucking on. You in? Cheers, Prescott. What the fuck, are you kidding me? That is bullshit. No way can Blackwell suspend you. I knew that Max was trouble the first time I saw her ass-kissing Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera. Notice that everybody she hangs around gets in trouble, and yes, the Vortex Club will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell no matter what. 
I'll SMS you later so we can plot in person. Hang in there, Victoria. Uh, not important. Let's look at thy desk. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. <laughs> Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. I'll say. What's with the lion? It like zoomed in on the lion. I guess nothing. Ooh, another drawer. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Yeah. Uh, is there anything? <sighs> nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, <sighs> I'm getting paranoid. Well, I kind of want to look here, and then we'll go. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. All right, let's leave. She'll pro she's probably going to catch us, isn't she? No? All right. What does this say? Are we fallen angels who... Excuse me. That was interesting. Are we fallen angels who didn't want to believe that nothing is nothing? Uh, someone's name in memory of Kate Marsh. Where shall we go? What was missing person poster? Slate, avenge Kate Marsh. Brooke. Um, so do we just go back into our room? Hello? Let me, hello? Hello? Thank you. Wait, 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 uh, no that's not it, is it tab? Here we go. I have to meet up with Chloe. Oh, so we have to leave. Wow, I wasted a lot of time. Uh, I have something to show you when you up in front of campus. Cool, listen, something weird and scary is going on black. It's time for us to put pieces together. Okay. Wait, one. Hey, Max, don't want to bother you. Just checking to see how you are. I know she was hard. I'm proud of you, and please, no worries about going to the drive-in. But if you want to escape the planet of the apes, let's go. And if you need to talk, I'm always here. Thanks, Warren. I'm still processing. Nathan got suspended, at least. I'll call you later. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything. I'm okay. Hey, whore. Feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Well. Okay. Uh, we know this is painful. We want to know where. We want to know how you are. So uh, please, please get in touch, and if you want to come and spend some time back home, the door is open and your bed is made. We love you. I'll call you right away. Love you. It was good to hear your voice. Remember what we talked about? You were there for your friend when she had nobody else, and Kate made her own choice. Nobody could expect more than what you did. You are here, and we love you so much, Maxine. Call us anytime if you need to talk or visit. Will do, Mom. This is <clears throat> disturbing. Yes, I have power, but... Nathan is out of control. He is. I want to read... 30... Yeah. Um... If you guys are interested in reading this, this is a lot, a lot for me to read. Uh, if there's more that pop up, I will read them, but this is a bit too much right off the bat. So, if you want to read each one, pause it. There's this page. There's this page. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. What is happening to Arcadia Bay? So now, we can go back... Uh, was that saving or did it add something? 
I think I was saving. Alright, we need to go outside. And let's, oh Jesus, <laughs> let's run into the wall. No, let's run to these doors here. There we go. Now we're progressing. And I'm sorry if it's not smooth enough. I should have the gaming, custom built gaming PC by the next episode, so, so it should be a lot smoother. In front of the main hall. I don't see her, and the music is scaring me. We can sit. Should we... Is this the front? Can we go over here? Principal Wells! Oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. What if we do walk up to him? I just want to see... Look at me. Feeling sorry for myself when Kate Marsh's family is in mourning. They'll probably sue the Academy right out of Oregon. Now I understand why the students call this place Black Hell. Black Hell. Uh, I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Get that ass in gear now. Max. Wait, there's now there's something else that's added here. How? There's like two... No, there's three pages already written. Uh, had the power of my time. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I remember when my journal went to the Okay. Chloe is determined to get to the bottom of what's going on. What would Chloe do? Okay. Um, then she wrote some more about Kate. Uh, I'll read this page. It's funny that even though I think I can just rewind myself out of trouble, I'm in more trouble now than ever before in my life. If this... Let me just check the time. You have lots of time. Um... I want to out If this was a Twilight Zone story, I'd be getting set up for more serious irony. Like I'm going to rewind myself out of existence or something. Can I honestly say I'll 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 have this ability for the rest of my life? Are the t tornado, the snow, and that eclipse just hallucinations, or are they g genuine prophecy? More importantly, is this a curse or a blessing? Chloe is alive and by my side, and that has to be a miracle. Which means there must be a way to stop my vision from coming true, right? So yes, I broke curfew to hook up with Chloe. She said she had something to show me. Looks like it's time for some serious detective work. Enter the Blackwell Ninjas. As I stealthily, as I stealthily made my way out of the hall, I saw a shrine in front of Kate's door. I was surprised when it just popped up right after she died. Like everybody at Blackwell suddenly felt guilty for how she was treated. I am glad that so many people wanted to honor her. The cynical side of me says, too little, too little, way too fucking late. But I know that Kate would smile and forgive us all, so I cry. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Prince. I like how he's Wells. drunk. I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I I let her and Kate down. Her. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? I don't know. Oh, well,